Well, because a bunch of you guys have asked me, I'm going to show you guys what I'm running on my Droid Razor Max and how to install it. Um, and what that is, is I run CM10.1. Um, so this is actually a Kexic ROM, which is made by Hashcode. Um, and it is actually installed, you can actually install this on ice cream sandwich on the Razer. You can install it on, on the Razer Max or the Razer, Droid Razer, either one. You can install this on the, um, the Leak uh, Jelly Bean, which is the dot eight or the dot sixteen because it doesn't matter because it runs off of Kexic, which is its own kernel, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So let me go in through here. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys um, a little bit about this ROM, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. So this is gonna be in a ROM slot, uh, preferably ROM slot one. I don't know if it'll run in any of the other ROM slots. Sometimes he has to hard code these to ROM slot one for some reason. But let's get into some settings on this sucker. We're gonna go into system settings, and just so I can show you about phone. Because this is Kextic, we can actually run Android 4.2.2, which is the newest uh, official um, Android version. Uh, this isn't an official release of it, but anyway, this is, like I said, Saijin Mod, or CM 10.1, and this was the build from, what is this thing, uh, March 12th, I think. Yeah, March 12th. So. There you go, that is some information for you right there. Also, this obviously has root permission through Super User, which is actually built into the settings, which is pretty cool. Um, what else do we have here? Your normal stuff on here, and then you do have themes you can download for this, and you can theme it, which is standard for CM or Saijin Mod. You do have a ton of good system settings, notification bars, all kinds of goodies in here for that like changing your percentage and your battery and your clock and all that good stuff up on top. Uh, let's see what else we have here. You do have your launcher information right here, which is Trebuchet Launcher built into this device. And your lock screen stuff you can set up and change all kinds of background security, status, battery status, all that good stuff on there. CM is very, very customizable, Saijin Mod that is. Uh, also, just so you guys know, Wi-Fi, Hotspot, or portable tether and all that good stuff is already enabled and built in. You do not have to hack it to get it for free. It's already built into that. So if you're watching some of my other videos on that, it is built into this ROM. Um, so that's it there for settings. Next, let's go into our app drawer. You can see my stuff that's already on here, but this does come with DSP Manager, um, Apollo Music Player, along with File Manager, which is a Saijin Modifier Manager, which is a root browser. So that is very cool. Comes pre-installed on there, along with Terminal and Torch. Torch is like your flashlight so you can turn on your LEDs for your camera. Uh, this is fully functional from what I've seen. Um, camera, everything works on it really, really nicely. Uh, let me show you guys your pull down uh, notifications really quick. So you have this screen or you have this screen with a whole bunch of quick toggles that you can turn things on and off with, which is very, very cool. Or you can slide this bar on the bottom and flip the screen. Um, so I like that a lot because I want to pull down and then uh, flip to my quick toggles really quickly. I can do that at the bottom without having to come back up here and hit the top thing. So, you know, whatever. But it's cool. Uh, and you do have the clock widgets and all those widgets that come with this device. You know, this kind of good stuff. Um, so, if you guys want the wallpaper, wallpaper can be found on my website under wallpapers in my download section uh, at rootjunkie.com. And you can download it's called Side Mount Wallpapers. So you have this one and a bunch of other goodies in there. Um, so that is the information on the ROM, and now I'm going to go ahead and get into the install of it. So we're going to power off the device, or reboot, because this has a reboot button on here. Also there's screenshots if you want to take a screenshot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit reboot, reboot system, and we're going to go ahead and get into SafeStrap which is based on Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. SafeStrap is made by um, Hashcode. He is a developer on it who is an insanely awesome developer. He's also the guy who has compiled CM10 for this thing running Kexic and really has got Kexic even working on Motorola devices. Uh, really awesome, awesome developers. 
opened up great doors for Motorola when it comes to the development side of it for us Android guys. So we're going to go ahead and go into Safe Draft by hitting the menu button at the bottom. And also, if you guys don't have Safe Strap installed, you don't have root access, you don't have any of that good stuff, watch my other videos on it. I've got a bunch of them on there. You can see them on my webpage or just on YouTube. It does not matter. Uh, so, what we're going to do, the first thing you're going to do is go to a ROM slot like this one right here. And this says CM 10.1 already because that is what I'm running it with. So, let's say you have a ROM slot. You're going to set the nickname, which I'm not going to change, but you would set the nickname. Go back, go back, make sure ROM slot 1 is highlighted in green. It's highlighted up here on top and says ROM slot 1. And then go back. And then the next thing you're going to do is go to wipes. And you're going to wipe four things to install this. And you wipe four things pretty much any time you install any ROM. And that is you're going to hit cache. And you're going to swipe across the bottom and wipe it. Delvic, swipe across, wipe it. Factory reset, swipe across and wipe it. System, swipe across and wipe it, and now you have a clean slate to flash your ROM under ROM slot 1 right there. And we're still enabled under ROM slot 1, so we're going to go to installs, and we're going to find the CM uh, download here, if I can find it. Where are we at here? Right here, it says Kexic CM 10.1 and from March 12th. Oh, I clicked the wrong file, so we're going to go back. And that's the file we want. It's the unofficial for Spider. Spider stands for um, the Droid Razor. So we're going to click on that and make sure it's listed right here and then swipe across and flash that. That's going to take about two minutes to flash. When it does, you can go back just like I did. And then you're going to hit this one right here um, G Apps Jelly Bean from 2013-3-1 and that is your Google applications and you're gonna flash that across when it finishes about a minute also there'll be a little button on the bottom that says reboot or you can hit this back and keep going back and go to reboot and then hit system and it'll reboot the system and you will boot up into Saijin mod that is it that is the install pretty simple sorry you couldn't actually see the process as I did I already have it installed I run it as my daily driver and I really don't want to uh, restore it or make an Android and go through all that process so if you're interested in this ROM that is it that's what I run uh, I do really like it a lot it runs really really nice I've had a couple crashes with it but it just reboots the phone and it's not a huge deal and doesn't happen all the time either so I think I've had three and I've been running it for a couple weeks now um, so there you go. Uh, that is the install on it. I'm going to go ahead and put links to everything you're going to need for this thing. Google applications, the ROM, all that good stuff down in the video description down below. And uh, so you have it. Um, also, please, like I've said a couple times here already, check out my website. I add stuff to this thing. Root Junkie right here, probably daily. Uh, so I put a lot of good information on there all the time. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. And also subscribe down below, please, if you like this. And that's it. There's your Saijin Mod boot animation for this ROM. And that's it, guys. We will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.